All right, we're back. What's up again, UJ fans? It's your boy Clicky, bringing you some UJ Overwatch action this time. Okay, I got, got a little worried that it wasn't going to pop up, but it did eventually, so we're moving there. Uh, we are taking on Penn College. Uh, we also played Penn College last night in Valorant, so a cheeky little rematch coming up. We'll see if... Uh, if our UJ Overwatch team can remain undefeated on maps this week, or if uh, if Penn College is gonna bring it to map five potentially, or maybe even roll, who knows? I not not gonna discredit anyone in any way. But while we're waiting for some more spectator spots, because I. Overwatch controls are hard sometimes. I get that. Um, don't forget to follow us on here, which is Twitch, believe it or not, right here on Twitch, uh, as well as on Twitter and Instagram to keep up with all of that UJ Esports action. You'll see posts and stuff about future matches and and uh, results and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's a good way to stay in the loop. You can subscribe right here on Twitch if you so wish. It costs five bucks a month. Um, and it helps support the team. It re-ups automatically. And you get a snazzy little badge right next to your name in chat. Uh, otherwise, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Amazon Twitch accounts and get one free subscription each month to any channel of your choosing. And we hope you choose us. But just choose choose anyone. Just use it every month. Take some money away from Papa Bezos, you know. Um, you, otherwise, you can donate. It helps support the team similar to subscribing. Um, or you can donate to Extra Life, which is the button right next to it, which is a fund for sick kids, so a very worthy cause there as well. Um, and it looks like we're still working on the uh, on the spectator spots. Cause so um, there, there we go. There, there's a lot. Perfect. Um, the the rules are that everyone that is potentially playing as well as the streamers for both teams have to be in the lobby uh, during the entirety of the match. Um, I mean, I guess they can leave, but they can't come back if they leave. You can't join part way through. And so we needed a few more spectator spots just so everyone could be in. Uh, Purple Panda still repping that level four, uh, what's the word? I want to call it rep. That's not right. It's like his his friendship level is off the charts. I don't remember what it's called, but that means he's very nice and gets commended a lot. So, props to you, Purple Panda. I guess we can do a quick rank check while we're waiting. See if. Any of them are public. So, what? Plat Lucio? Pretty respectable. Got just the Plat Lucio. So, I mean, that's like about what Jay Drizzy's at, too. So, at least the Lucios are going to be pretty evenly matched. Which is good to see. Ah, uh, waiting for an update. Gotta love Blizzard updates. So this is Overwatch's second uh, second match of the week. And what, tomorrow? I want to say Overwatch is tomorrow. Maybe it's Saturday, though. But they've got quite a few more matches coming up, so it's a real busy week for everyone, and especially, especially Overwatch. Let's see. Let me check it again. Even though I've checked it like 10 times, still can't remember anything. Yep, so Overwatch is tomorrow at 3, Rocket League is tomorrow at 6, and then League, who we haven't had stream at all, 
uh, this year because we haven't had enough people for a league team. We're finally assembling one for the tournament. So they're going to be um, against NDSU at noon. Um, Smash is also going to be at noon on Saturday. And Valorant is going to start at 4. So be sure to swing in for that whenever you can. I'm sure our boys and girls will appreciate it. Um, and I think we're going to be doing a live, uh, like, in-person viewing. I don't know where exactly or when exactly, but I'm pretty sure we are. So keep an eye out for that as well. Uh, you got to love updates, though, especially when it's, like, five minutes to when you need to be doing something and you just then find out there's an update and it seems to be the slowest update you've ever done. Ah, good times. Sweet. Literally. See this one? Oh, got, uh, what, silver? Silver DPS, silver support, gold tank. So, or wait, no. No, that's plat, excuse me. That's plat, not silver. Because silver would be this symbol, but, but silver, that's plat. So plat, plat, gold. So realistically, Sweet could be playing any role. I mean, I would go through UJ, but we, we kind of know what roles UJ is going to be playing already. I do love the name Luigi Man 12. It is a good username. And we've got like Haywire, Elemental, Archer, Sweet. Like, th th those all sound like reputable like semi-pro pro names and then there's just luigi man 12 uh which is exactly how i would pick my username if i'm being honest uh gotta love it i i suppose it, it's pretty similar with uh with uj2 it's like zach kayleroni carter J jizzy like the, those all sound like reputable names and then there's just Humongous too. Oh man. I love funny usernames, in case you couldn't tell. They they make me happy. Just some lobby stuff needing to be sorted out yet, I'm assuming. Which, you know, like I said, Overwatch lobbies are kind of way more complicated than you would think. I mean, I definitely understand it. I get where they're coming from. Especially if you don't, like, have a preset. Like, if you don't make a lobby and then save it as a preset... So you have to do it manually every time. It's it's just hard to remember everything that you need to change. And yes, if you hear any yelling, the Smash guys are, uh, well, a door away from me. So they, there might be some, some background noise of them popping off.
right, it looks like we should be good to go. We're going to be starting her off with Li Zhang Tower. We are, we is our. Aster is our. And in we go. Now arriving at Lee Zhang Tower. remember is it the numbered keys or the function keys we'll figure it out in a second when people pick their characters it's been a bit since i casted overwatch consistently so got a refresh especially since the the switch to overwatch 2 Ooh, we're seeing zach on the far potentially nice 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 Oh, that's such a cool skin, too. No, oh, I love that. Then Carter on the Cass. Aileroni on the Kiriko. Drizzy pocketing Zack with the Mercy. Excuse me. Humongous on his patented Orisa. Which I think this is definitely a better uh, point for Orisa. Because she can, you know, javelin people off the map. He's the Torb turret. Having to play around it a little awkward. Is that going around? Round the world. Round the world. Archer getting poked down. Not quite falling. Zach doing a lot of poke damage. Haywire's going to fall. Zach is eventually going to fall to the dink from... Uh, from Elemental. Elemental just a Torb fiend it would seem. Zach getting rezzed. A relatively quick first fight goes in favor of UJ. Oh, I love this Cassidy skin too. Their skin game right now is on point. Mungus getting in there, hitting the gold, making sure that he can't get pinned. Getting in there, doing a lot of damage. Elemental super low is going to fall. Haywire should fall. There we go. Zach finding one. And sweet resetting. Another relatively quick fight for you, Jack. I feel like I don't spec Kayla enough. I should probably spec her a little bit. Watch her hit some dinks with Kiri. Okay, spec curse. Never mind. I'll just let her pop off while I'm not specking. The barrage not quite finding anything. Hey, where is going to find Humongous, actually? And Pen is going to gain control of the point. Zach just hitting them with some poke damage. The B 
big, uh, whatever the Orisa ult is called, doing a lot of damage. Zack cleaning up too. Humongous does fall like as he rips ult, but uh, well, doesn't look like it's gonna matter much. Oh, the the dead eye. I was like, how did he hit the shots on the sweet there? Yeah, yeah. The the dead eye makes makes more sense. Ooh, humongous swap into the Rhine. Also, we see a Bastion Genji from Penn. We'll have to see how that works out for him. Zach bringing the May. The threat of May walls is such a big deal. Ryan's exchanging blows. Ooh, Elemental's gonna fall early though. Bit of a, an overzealous pin from Humongous, but he's got team members to back him up. At this point, yeah, he just gets in there and swangs. Hits the shatter. Real overzealous shatter there. Humongous just giga chatting out right now. Cleanse from Kaleroni. Humongous peeking into that Bastion feels a little risque. Kitsune Rush is going to get popped. Deadeye is going to get popped. Finding two. Shatter being used on Elemental. Going to be another one fight for UJ. A few ults were popped, but I mean, won the fight. Worthwhile. Not to mention Zack has Blizzard and uh, Drizzy has Beat. That's like super stall and then basically a one fight in the Blizzard. Hey, why is Shatter getting canceled again too? I assume because he got frozen? But regardless, that's going to be a quick little 2-0 for UJ. Uh, Chan, I have no idea what you mean by that. I... I, I don't I don't know what Jover is. I said it out loud. I get what Jover is. I don't know why you said Jover, but I understand. Ah. Uh, yeah. One of those words that you got to say out loud, I guess. But yeah, a quick little 2-0 there on Li Zhang for UJ. Probably going to be going to King's Row next, considering they swapped it to King's Row. But uh, I don't know. I've been wrong before. Not often, but I'm occasionally wrong. So we'll see how both teams opt to play it. We did see Zach on the May there on, uh, 
on Night Market. So we'll see if he opts to continue it. Maybe Humongous is going to continue the Rhine as well. I, I would wager that we're going to see Carter on the Cassidy yet again, because I do believe he played it on Tuesday on Kings. Um, and then the, the Lucio and uh, Kiriko are, are my bets, my wagers, on what UJ is going to be repping out. How is this matchup legal? Good question. Good question. And to be fair, I do think there were just some unfortunate circumstances for uh for Penn. Like I I think there were two separate shatters that were that were canceled for Haywire, so that that feels pretty bad. I mean, it happens sometimes. It's just rare that it happens what a, twice in a row. Maybe. I know I know they were both on Night Market. I think you got three shatters on Night Market though. Yeah, just just some unfortunate circumstances. I do think UJ is playing very well right now though. Doesn't this match break the C Geneva conventions? Uh, I mean, we're getting close. We're getting close to it. I try to remain as unbiased as I can, but at the same time, I attend UJ. I've attended UJ for the past four years. Obviously, I'm, I'm going to be a little biased. Anyways, all right, the orb time. You guys know what time it is? Carter on the Widow right now. I would imagine that's just to look for an early pick. Oh, no. Swap into Soldier. NVM. Swap, swap into Echo? I'd like to see the Echo. We haven't really seen a whole lot of Echo from UJ this season. Oh, is he swapping again? Okay, swapping back to the Widow. Carter just saying, yeah, I'll, I'll click someone's head, start us off with an advantage. It's the dink onto uh, onto the Roadhog, Haywire. Turret goes down. Can't quite find the head of, uh, the head of Soldier, excuse me. But Haywire is going to get pinned. We win, we win these, we ego these. Ah, oh, okay. We don't ego these. But regardless, that's a really quick first point for UJ. Jadris is going to finish off Luigi, man. Big perp, though, connecting onto almost the entirety of UJ. Carter is going to fall to sweet. But uh, honestly, probably not a super impactful pick. It's going to slow UJ down a little bit. But I mean, his spawn's right there. And the card has to travel at least around the corner. And he has swapped to uh, the Cassidy now, so gonna be a, a bit better suited for second point here. Elemental getting swung on is eventually gonna fall. Haywire, uh, I didn't even realize had swapped to the Orisa, but he's just super overextended, and that wall is probably gonna confirm the kills of the last two members of Pen. Oh, I didn't realize Soldier was left. I I'm. Apparently out of it. Ooh, nice icicle from Zach. Is there an angle there that you can shoot? Can you shoot through the door? No, surely there's no way. 
Ooh, hits the dink onto Archer. Ooh, that's a big... Oh, I thought, thought it was a big wall. I I guess that, that Zenyatta can get through. But Elemental is going to fall. Ooh, ooh. Never mind, we're fine. Lamp comes out. A dink onto Archer again. And Zack is hitting things right now. Zack doing things and stuff, and he's got a blizzard in his pocket. Just waiting for Penn to make a move. UJ, five and a half minutes left on the clock. I, I don't think this could be going much better for UJ. Wall comes up, zoning off Haywire. Isn't going to fall, but they're going to put a lot of damage his way. Elemental real low. I don't think the Shatter's finding anyone. Luigi Man with the visor isn't going to find anyone. Blizzard getting popped. Elemental finds Humongous, but that's about it. And just under five minutes left on the clock, UJ is going to full cap. Holy... Tuesday, I felt like UJ wasn't wasn't playing up to the way they normally do, but today, Eesh. UJ is playing the way they want to, and then some, folks. Why can't I go up? It's not letting me go up. Am I trapped below the kill barrier? There's no way, right? I, I, wow! I've never I've never seen this bug before. Typically, you can't go down this far. That's hilarious. Uh, UJ mounting their defense. All coming up from Zack. Trolling the team. Love to see it. I'd do it myself if I were in his spot. Oh, oh, get it. Yeah, 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 hey, 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 get it. I did mention Kaleroni's emote game on uh, on Tuesday. It's pretty on point. Also, Haywire on the Winston now. A little, little questionable, but there is some synergy with the, the Kiriko. It just feels strange for first, because it's really hard to just dive into a team like UJ's got going on right now. So maybe if uh, if the first fight doesn't work out for Penn, Haywire will swap to uh, maybe like a Roadhog. Just... Look for a quick and easy hook. Maybe find a pick. Snowball. And is on point. Got Deadeye. They're all out in the open. Finds two. Finds a third. Carter's doing things. Carter's Bob right now. Bob does things. Carter also does things. Look at him go. I I agree. Chan 60 million IQ May Walls society. All right, let's let's try to keep it a little neutral, Chan. Okay. Questionable positioning for that old, but he he isn't gonna fall. He's even gonna find Jay Drizzy. 
Ooh, but Luigi Man falls. Humongous throws the shatter directly on Archer's head. Haywire's gonna fall, and it's just Elemental left on point. Not gonna survive too long. Carter! Woo! Aiming. He's doing aim things. Clicking heads. Taking names. Chewing gum. Nah, Cassidy probably smokes cigars. I, I, I don't think he chews gum. But, like, a bubblegum cigar. They got the, the gum cigarettes. Maybe they got gum cigars. They're having to rotate back to around the corner. Let Humongous's shield come back up. Keeping Carter up. Keeping Carter up. Oh, he even finds a second with the dead eye. Phenomenal pocketing from Kayla and Drizzy. 40 seconds left on the clock. Yet another wipe for UJ. I also don't spec J Drizzy enough. I kind of just don't spec supports enough. I'm going to do that. Kitsune Rush coming out for Pen. One last ditch effort. The mortar shot's coming down. So is the beat, however. Going to completely negate that Bastion ult. Haywire's gonna fall. Drizzy's gonna find a second. Humongous finds one. Sweet's gonna fall. Just like that, Yuja's gonna claim their second map. Honestly, not much to say. UJ playing real well right now. Clicking heads, taking space, keeping people alive and just doing everything they need to be doing to... Uh, what, what's a semi-neutral word I can use? Uh, perform very well. The way to put it. Man, UJ kind of popping right now. They are absolutely performing the way that they want to be. And like Zach's hitting two man, three man walls consistently. You know, Carter's killing three a fight. Humongous is uh, just humongous, you know, he's just large and brawlic and. Throwing shatters onto people's heads. Like Kayla and Drizzy are absolutely popping. Kayla's had phenomenal lamps. Jay Drizzy with great beat usage. And honestly, just solid target focus. Like everyone on UJ is performing exactly the way that they want to be performing right now. And I think that's really encouraging to see, especially with the tournament being tomorrow. I know they've been really busy this week, and I think it's showing. They're really in the zone right now. On to Junker Town, we are go. Probably going to see the Sigma from, uh, from Humongous. Probably the double Snipies from Zack and Carter. And then, uh, what, Zen Kiriko, I think, were the other two that we saw from, uh, from Grizzy and Kayla, respectively. We'll see if they decide to switch anything up from Tuesday. 
or if uh, they just say, yeah, we won with this team comp, we're going to do it again. They are R. We are R. I am R. We go in. Maybe. Maybe. Eventually. But UJ looking to make it a clean little 3 0 sweep. Pen hoping to mount the the reverse sweep, but that's well, if that's what they're going for, which I mean is realistically all they can go for at this point, he's got a lot of work cut out for him, especially with how the last two maps went. All right, what what can what can I look at? I can look at the food here. That's what I'm gonna do. Pretty sure Junker Town's in Australia. Does Australia have a lot of Asian food? I guess that would kind of make sense. Because, like, they're, they're so close to, well, Asia. Back on the Bastion. Prob probably just to blow up the... The, uh... Motorcycle? Motorcycle's gone. They're all in the safe room! Their team synergy is nuts! Look at them go! Uh, this is a, a real unorthodox comp. Yep. Here we go. We see the switches. Ah, Baptiste. Not, uh, not Kiriko. I was almost right. Come on, Zach, give me a log. It's one. Ooh, elemental finding the heads. Or finding finding one head, finding a lot of shots regardless. Ooh, elemental is gonna get spammed out eventually though. Jay able to take a little bit of space. That's one DPS down. Archer getting logged. There we go. That's the kind of headshot I want to see. Kayla Roney gunning down Luigi Man. Carter Dinkin Sweet. A lot of space for you, Jay. Come on. Let me see it. Let me see it. There we go. Finds his counterpart. That was a really accurate SMG spray. Wow. Why was that so, like, non-spread? That was wild. Maybe they buffed it. Maybe maybe I just didn't know they buffed it. Zach finding Haywire. Oh, I was really hoping he hit the fade away. Zach taking space up upstairs. The counter in for sight. Both teams have walls on each other. And the double snipers are real terrifying, but Carter does the best elemental. And walls are going to be down for, uh, for Penn. It's an awkward duel for Zach to be in at that range. Because Moira has such a strange hitbox. And, well, she doesn't miss. She literally does not miss at that range. So, yeah. Yeah, see, see what I mean? It's just awkward. It's away. Wow. Once again, UJ, five and a half minutes left on the clock all the way to last. Carter hits the dink onto Elemental yet again. Can't find the rock, but I mean, granted, that was a bit of a Hail Mary of a rock anyways. Zach still has Dragon. 
Playing a dangerous game. But he finds Elemental. Dragon comes out, just making a lot of room for UJ. Weed getting caught out, fading away. Archer in a questionable position. Zach finding Haywire. Luigi man falling everyone on Penn side. Falling and 4.22 left on the clock. Almost the same attack as on Kings. Definitely kept about the same pace as they had on Kings. I would wager that 422 is, well, a, about as fast as you can do it. We'll see if UJ can once again mount a full hold and end it almost as quickly as possible with a 3-0. Or if Penn College is going to, well, start the, the reverse sweep. I love the chibi sprays. They're so cute. Like, oh, look, you're so deadly. You got a bow and arrow. You're you're full of ancestral anger and stuff. Oh. Zack C and two with his Sonic C and everyone else down below. Looking for the dinks, can't find them. Widow does drop down. Still neither team finding a pick. Okay, thank you, Carter. Thank you for doing that so I couldn't finish my sentence. Carter finding the first pick of the round. He's dinked Luigi, man, a few times now. Luigi and Archer are both going to fall. Haywire is going to fall. I just thought about it. It bothers me that Archer isn't playing Hanzo. Oh, just barely whiffing the head there. Not going to whiff that one, though. Right back to the spawn room, Archer, guys. Yeah, there we go. We don't need walls. We win the duels straight up. And Humongous doing a great job just poking, zoning. And his shield placement's been real nifty on top of it. It's so hard for uh, for Elemental to do anything with that, that shield there. Gonna grab it back, though. Let it heal up a bit. Connects the rock onto Luigi, man. That's a big rock. Block is up, doesn't find anything. Luigi Man's real out of position. Is going to fall. Elemental is going to pick Kayla. Return to me. Come on, Carter, get flashy. Oh, the cart running over the... Venom mine. Zach besting Haywire. Who finds the shot? Not quite the head. But is going to force Elemental to back. 
wonder if you can shoot through those steps. I don't know if I've ever tested that. Carter is going to get domed by Elemental, however. Zack with the real nice Sonic Arrow almost hitting the, the ricochet shots. Walls are going to come up from Elemental. 60 seconds left on the clock. Zack still has his, uh, his dragon. Kayla's got her Kitsune Rush. Humongous is uh, two. That zero percent from his ult. Both teams still relatively even. Both widows dead. Dragon coming out, not finding anything, but delaying a good bit. He finds one. That should be enough to kill Haywire. It is. Zach finds Luigi, man. 15 seconds left on the clock. Not looking too hot for Fen. Carter finds Archer as well. Preemptive Kitsune Rush, just because why not? DJ trying to find any kills. Are eventually going to start finding them. Haywire just. Okay, never mind. I was going to say he was just surviving, but. Humongous put an end to him. And that might be one of the quickest series we've ever seen come out of our Overwatch team. The GG's. Yeah, UJ playing very well right now, and I hope that carries over into tomorrow. Because if they're playing to this caliber during the tournament, I I don't want to jinx anything, but I, I think they've got a good chance of taking it all. But don't forget, we're going to be uploading uh, the second Smash game probably sometime tonight, maybe tomorrow morning. I'm not sure exactly. But... That's all we've got for you guys tonight. So thank you for stopping by for this. If you stopped by for Smash earlier, thank you for stopping by for that as well. And be sure to swing by tomorrow at uh, 3, 3, right? I can't, I can't remember it. I can't do it. 3, yes. Overwatch tomorrow at 3. Rocket League tomorrow at 6. So be sure to stop by for that as well. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on. And just in general, thank you guys for you uh, for all your support. We really do appreciate it. Every view, every message in chat, every subscription, every donation, it really does help support the team. Even if it's not, uh, not in a monetary way, it just helps boost morale, you know. It, it gives us... Uh, well, a, a feeling of legitimacy, really. And we really do appreciate that. So thank you for stopping by, guys. Be sure to do so tomorrow and Saturday as well because we've got a lot more coming your way. Have a good night.